Hey guys, it's Meg, and it really feels like ages since I've actually just done a normal, like, main channel video. Um, yeah, and it has been, really. So, today I thought I would go into more in-depth about my tattoo. You can't really see. I will do a close-up in a minute. But, yeah, I just thought you had the vlog but actually being done, but I never really went into details of why I wanted it. Like, the pain, aftercare. That sort of stuff. But I know I talked a little bit about it on the end of the vlog, but this is just a more in depth and basically the questions that people have been asking me since I've had it done. So let's go. Okay, one question I get asked most is does it hurt? And yes, obviously it's gonna hurt. It's a needle that's being dragged into your skin, so yes, it does hurt. It doesn't hurt as much as I thought it'd be. Like when people always said, Oh, I can't explain the pain, I was like, Well, you kind of can, but I get what they mean now that like you can't explain pain of it it's just like an irritating scratch but yeah I honestly I can't really describe the pain it's just it's a needle being dragged into your skin that, that's basically it like you can't put a thumb what's it called you can't put a stamp on what it actually feels like because it is a weird sensation and the last 20 minutes for me were the worst one because obviously like they were going over the same bits over again like the shading and two, because I really, really need a wee and I didn't want to stop because I just wanted to get it over and done with I just wanted it to be finished and done because I'm waiting ages to get it so that was kind of like white hurt more for me is literally just because I needed a pee so yeah number two was, was there any side effects? now for me there wasn't any side effects like I didn't have a rash or anything I think that's what they meant by that but when I was actually getting it done for the last half an hour or so I did start feeling a little bit faint but that is normal because your body is just a shock it's never had this sort of like feeling or sensation before and obviously your body is not but like it's not meant to have it like it's not a natural process so it your body does go into a bit of a shock and because I was laying down for so long because I had to have my arm out like that but um yeah because I was laying down so long that's probably why as well but I was having like drinks with me which comes on to my second third third question so number three is are there any tips whilst you're getting it done now for me I thanks Rocky for me personally mine was at 10 I got up at 8 so I made sure that I was like more like I was awake like more awake and like getting active before I had it done so I didn't want to get up get ready and just go so I got up at 8 Laced around for a little bit, just like did what I had to do, got ready, and then I had, like you saw in the vlog, if you saw the vlog, I had pasta, chopped tomatoes, broccoli, carrots, and green beans, all in like one sort of thing, just to get some carbs and some veg in me before, just like a steady sort of meal. I took a banana with me, so um, I I don't like this, but I took full sugar coke with me just to get my sugar levels up. And I took like a Kit Kat bar with me because throughout it, like I said, your body is in shock, so you want to keep your sugar levels up. You want to keep eating, keep drinking, and I did take a. So you just need to keep like your sugar levels up, basically, just so if you did feel faint, you've got that there with you. But no, like you don't have to do that. Like I probably won't do that for all my tattoos, but because this is my first and it's quite big. I just thought it'd be helpful for me personally. Number four is how much does it cost? Some people might get a bit arsy if you ask them how much the tattoo costs, but personally I don't mind. Like it's art, if you're interested in it, then yeah, I don't care. This one was £80, which is quite good. £40 an hour, like I said, this was two hours. But it does depend what tattoo artist you go to. It could be £60 an hour, it could be £40 an hour, it just depends. If it's colouring, they might charge more. Like, it all depends really. But the best thing I would say is build up a relationship with your tattoo artist. Like, see them a few times before, get to know them. Because the last thing you want is to be worried about if it's going to be awkward there or if you don't have anything to talk about. Or just, I took my sister with me, so that was helpful as well. But yeah, get to know your tattoo artist before, get to like get a relationship. Obviously, not like dating them, but have a, a relationship with them. Just yeah, feel comfortable as well. I know that's not about pricing, but it kind of you know, intertwined with it. Number five is, is this number five? I think it's number five. 
Yeah, number five is how long does it take to heal? Now, healing process can be completely different depending on the size, colour, how dark it is. Your body reacts to it really. Mine took just over a week, it's just healed now. But I use this cream, you can't really see it. It is a Bentham, it is a nappy rash cream. And I know that sounds weird, but my tattoo artist recommends it and it's so good. It's really thick cream, but yeah, doesn't look too pleasant. But it's really thick cream and then I put cling film over it for the first few nights when I went to bed and then the first few days as well, just to keep the moisture in. And when it peels, don't pick at it, don't scratch it. It will get itchy as well, so don't scratch, just tap the tattoo or just like do that with your fingers because you don't want to scratch it because you don't want it to like pick off any of the colour really. Okay, that is all my questions for now, but if you have any more questions, please feel free to leave them in the description box below or get me on my social media and all those links will be in below as per usual. I'm sorry I haven't had a video in a while, but I've just started a new apprenticeship so it's hectic at the minute, but YouTube is still one of my main priorities, so yeah. I hope you have a good rest of your day, morning and night, and I will see you next week with another video. Bye guys!